Hello everyone, welcome to today's video, where we will explore one of the special and important fishing professions in Japan, yellowfin fishing. This profession not only contributes to the country's economy but also reflects the hard work and perseverance of the fishermen here. With thousands of years of history associated with the sea, Japan has developed and maintained many advanced fishing techniques, of which purse sen is an important tool. Thanks to these purse sen nets, fishermen can catch hundreds of tons of fish every day, contributing to meeting the large domestic and foreign consumption demand. However, to achieve such success, the lives of Japanese fishermen are full of challenges and difficulties. We will learn about their daily work, the arduous trips to sea, the modern technologies used, and the importance of fishing to the Japanese economy. Please follow along. Yellowfin fishing is a complex job that requires precision, patience and a high level of teamwork. Each fishing trip starts early in the morning, when fishing boats depart from the ports. The boats are fully equipped with modern equipment such as radar systems and satellite positioning devices. Helping fishermen easily detect and monitor schools of yellowfin. Purse nets are the main tool used in yellowfin fishing. These nets are designed to cover the entire school of fish. Helping fishermen harvest a large quantity in just one pull. Each boat will have a team of fishermen working together to deploy the purse sen at the right time and accurately. After the purse sen is dropped into the sea and surrounds the school of fish. The next job is to pull the net onto the boat. One of the important factors is preserving the fish immediately after being pulled onto the boat. To keep it fresh and ensure quality, the fish will be put into the boat's hold and immediately covered with ice. Immediate fish refrigeration helps to limit spoilage due to improper temperatures during the journey back to port. Japan has always been a pioneer in applying modern technology to industries. And the yellowfin fishing industry is no exception in order to catch a large number of fish in a short period of time. Fishermen use modern fishing vessels equipped with positioning systems, radars, and smart sensors. These devices help fishermen accurately locate the fish and monitor them throughout the fishing process. Fishing vessels are also equipped with fish processing systems right on the deck. These machines help shorten the time for fish processing, from cleaning to packaging and preservation, helping the product achieve high quality standards. In addition, fish refrigeration and preservation technology is also very important. Fishing vessels use specialized refrigeration systems, helping to keep fish fresh and ensure quality throughout the journey. The life of a Japanese fisherman is not easy. A trip to sea can last from a few days to a few weeks while the fishermen have to work tirelessly to harvest fish. The fishermen live away from their families for long days, but they are always persistent and persistent with their work. The trip to sea can encounter many difficulties, from bad weather to rough seas. But they always consider it an indispensable part of their lives. Working on a ship requires a high team spirit. Each member of the team must clearly know their responsibilities. The fishermen not only work with the nets, but also have to take care of, maintain the ship, and be prepared for any situation. This is a job that requires strength, dexterity, and a high sense of discipline. The important position of fishing in the Japanese economy. The yellowfin fishery plays an important role in the Japanese economy. The fishing industry not only provides food for people but is also a major source of income for fishermen and businesses involved in fish processing and transportation. Japan is one of the countries with a strongly developed seafood processing industry. With yellowfin products exported to many countries around the world, the fishing industry also contributes to maintaining jobs for thousands of workers in the fishing community. Fishing boats, fish processing plants, logistics and transportation services all depend on yellowfin fishing. Therefore, fishing not only affects the lives of fishermen but also contributes to the overall development of the national economy. In recent years, climate change has caused many negative impacts on the yellowfin fishing industry in Japan. Rising sea temperatures and changes in the marine environment have affected the distribution and quantity of yellowfin. Fish schools have to move to further seas in search of suitable living conditions, forcing fishermen to go further and prolonging their time at sea. 
The increase in extreme weather events such as typhoons and high waves also poses a danger to fishing vessels. However, Japanese fishermen are not giving up. The government and relevant organizations have implemented measures to protect the marine environment and seek to adapt to changes brought about by climate change. Despite many challenges, the yellowfin fishery in Japan still has prospects for development in the future. One possible solution is to develop yellowfin farming in a controlled environment, reducing pressure on wild fish stocks and creating a more stable product. Research on the protection and development of aquatic resources is also being carried out to protect the biodiversity of marine ecosystems. In addition, the application of advanced technologies, such as blockchain and AI, in the fishing industry is also helping to improve product quality, improve production and distribution processes. These technologies help fishermen track the catch and processing of fish, and increase transparency in the seafood supply chain. To support the yellowfin fishery, fishing ports and related infrastructure play an indispensable role. Every fishing port in Japan is fully equipped with modern facilities for transporting, preserving and processing fish products. When fishing boats return from fishing trips, they not only dock to unload fish, but also to refuel, maintain the boat and rest, preparing for the next trip. Fishing ports are also important trading places, where seafood processing enterprises, traders and exporting companies meet and sign contracts. Some fishing ports have also developed additional service areas such as restaurants and seafood markets, helping to create jobs and attract tourists to visit. In addition, developing infrastructure also helps to minimize product loss during transportation, cold storage systems, advanced preservation equipment and modern means of transport help maintain the quality of yellowfin from harvest until it reaches consumers. An important factor in yellowfin fishing is the solidarity and teamwork of the fishermen. On each trip, a team of fishermen will work together to deploy the purse sen, pull the fish onto the boat and process the fish on the spot. The work on the boat is not simple. Each person has separate responsibilities but together they work towards a common goal of harvesting the most fish with the best quality. On a fishing boat, there can be from 5 to 10 fishermen, each with a specific role. Some are in charge of deploying the purse sen, some are pulling the net onto the boat and some are monitoring the processing of the fish after it has been unloaded onto the boat. The work requires good coordination. Agility and precision, because even a small mistake can ruin the plan and affect the quality of the harvested fish. This spirit of solidarity is evident in every stage of the trip. From preparing the boat before setting sail to returning to port, the fishermen are always united and help each other throughout the journey. Despite many difficulties or bad weather, one of the major issues in the yellowfin fishing industry is protecting marine resources and ensuring sustainable fisheries development. With the increasing amount of yellowfin caught, Japan faces the challenge of managing its aquatic resources properly. Overexploitation can lead to a serious decline in natural fish stocks directly affecting the industry and the lives of fishermen. To deal with this situation, the Japanese government has implemented sustainable fisheries management measures. Regulations on minimum fish sizes allowed to be caught. Fishing seasons and restricted fishing areas are aimed at protecting endangered species. Fishermen must strictly comply with these regulations. This regulation is to ensure that marine resources are not overexploited. In addition, research and conservation are also emphasized. Oceanographic research organizations and universities are working to find solutions to protect marine resources and develop sustainable fishing models. One trend being studied is the development of yellowfin fish farms in controlled environments, which will help reduce the burden on wild fish resources. Despite being supported by advanced technology and a modern infrastructure system, yellowfin fishing still faces many challenges. Climate change, marine pollution, and competition from other countries are all factors that can affect the industry. 
To cope with these challenges, Japanese fishermen are turning to more advanced technologies to improve efficiency and protect the environment. Onboard water filtration and purification systems help reduce pollution and protect other marine species. At the same time, the application of low-impact fishing methods such as high-tech purse send nets is also being tested by fishermen. Another solution is the development of education and propaganda programs on marine and aquatic resource protection. Young fishermen are being trained to be more aware of the importance of sustainable fishing. And environmental protection methods are being encouraged. The fisheries industry, especially yellowfin fishing, not only plays an important economic role but also has profound significance for Japanese social life. Yellowfin is a popular dish in Japanese cuisine, especially in traditional banquets and high-end sushi dishes. Therefore, maintaining and developing this industry not only helps protect marine resources but also preserves the unique culinary culture of the Japanese people. Fishing is also the main source of income for millions of fishing families across Japan. The government has been implementing many policies to support fishermen, helping them maintain their jobs and develop the fishing industry. In addition, seafood processing enterprises also contribute significantly to the national economy through the export. of yellowfin fish products to the world. Yellowfin fishing in Japan is an industry that not only brings income to thousands of fishermen but also has a profound impact on the country's economy and culture. Despite many difficulties and challenges, with perseverance, solidarity and the application of advanced technology, this industry continues to develop sustainably. Modern technology has changed the way Japanese fishermen carry out yellowfin fishing. Previously, fishing technology mainly depended on manual methods with simple tools. However, Japanese fishermen are now using advanced equipment and means to improve efficiency and minimize negative impacts on the environment. One of the biggest innovations is the use of fishing vessels equipped with GPS and radar technology to locate schools of fish. Underwater sensors and cameras allow fishermen to monitor the status of fish in deep and vast areas of the ocean, thereby optimizing fishing and avoiding overfishing. Purse technology has also improved, from the use of traditional nets to purse sends that can attract fish effectively without damaging the marine ecosystem. High-tech purse sends help fishermen harvest fish quickly while protecting other aquatic species from entanglement. In addition, onboard fish handling systems are increasingly automated. Machines help clean, sort and ice fish more quickly and efficiently, while preserving the best quality of fish before shipping to processing plants. Impact of fisheries on the marine environment. Although the yellowfin fishing industry brings great economic benefits, it is undeniable that this industry also causes some negative impacts on the marine environment if not strictly managed. One of the biggest problems is marine pollution caused by waste from fishing vessels and seafood processing operations. Wastewater from fishing vessels can contain chemicals such as grease, cleaning chemicals, and other household waste. If not properly treated, it can pollute the marine environment and affect marine life. The Japanese government has set strict standards for the treatment of waste from fishing vessels to minimize environmental impacts. In addition, overfishing can also deplete yellowfin resources and affect the development of other fish species. However, the Japanese government has been proactive in managing sustainable fisheries, through regulations that limit fishing seasons, control the number of fish allowed to be caught, and encourage marine scientific research to monitor the health of fish populations. The Japanese fishing industry contributes significantly to the national economy. Yellowfin is not only a popular domestic food but also a valuable export product. Japan exports processed fish, frozen fish, and other seafood products to many countries, especially those in Asia and North America. The seafood processing industry also provides a large number of jobs for people. From processing plant workers to fishing vessel maintenance technicians. Modern seafood processing companies use advanced technology to process and package products, ensuring the 
highest quality for consumers. In addition, fishing also helps develop related service industries, including fishing ports, seafood transportation, seafood tourism, and other support services. This not only promotes the development of coastal communities but also creates a sustainable source of income for people in remote areas. In addition to its economic significance, yellowfin fishing also has deep cultural value for the Japanese people. This is a traditional craft with a long history closely linked to traditional Japanese rituals and customs. Yellowfin appears in many typical Japanese dishes, from sushi to side dishes in traditional ceremonies. Fish is not only food but also a symbol of prosperity and luck in Japanese culture. Ritual ceremonies to thank the sea and pray for a bountiful fishing season are indispensable parts of fishing culture. Fishing families also pass on the profession through many generations, preserving traditional values during the work process. The elders will teach the younger generation about how to exploit the sea, how to protect resources and fishing techniques that have been accumulated over many years. The spirit of solidarity, patience and respect for the sea are indispensable elements in Japanese fishing culture. Although the Japanese fishing industry has achieved many great achievements, there are still many challenges to face in the future. Climate change, environmental pollution and global competition are factors that can affect the development of fisheries. One of the biggest challenges today is maintaining the natural yellowfin fish stocks. Without proper protection, this resource can be depleted, seriously affecting the fisheries industry and the lives of fishermen. The Japanese government is looking for sustainable solutions such as developing aquaculture and improving fishing methods to minimize environmental impacts. In addition, the development of technology will help the Japanese fisheries industry improve efficiency and minimize negative impacts on the environment. Research on efficient and less harmful fishing methods is being vigorously implemented. This is the next part of the video content. This part will continue to expand on the topic of yellowfin fishery. Challenges and future solutions, along with related cultural, social and economic factors. If you would like to add or edit any part, please let me know.